Let's do a calculation involving both the ideal gas law and the van der Waals expression for gases and compare the two. So helium and carbon dioxide will calculate the pressure at 298K for two volumes and a mole of gas. One volume will be 15 liters, the other volume 150 milliliters. We'll also ask which gas has more collisions per second with the walls and which gas has the greater attraction between the molecules. Well, these last two we can answer right away. Which gas has more collisions per second with the walls? Well, that's the gas that's moving at the greater average velocity. And the greater average velocity goes as the temperature, but they're both at the same temperature, or the mass. Lower the mass, the higher the average velocity. So the one with the higher RMS velocity in this case is helium. So helium will have more collisions with the wall. Remember, they both can have the same pressure. Just because helium is hitting the wall more often to impart its momenta, carbon dioxide hits with a bigger punch. So they both exert the same pressure on the wall. Now, what about the greater attractions? Carbon dioxide will have the greater intermolecular attractions. And we would see that reflected in the size of the A parameter in the van der Waals expression. So we can go directly to that. Let's do the calculation for the pressure of one mole of both of these gases in a 15 liter and 150 milliliter flask at 298. Now, they could be mixed or they could be in separate flasks. It doesn't matter. If they're mixed, we'll calculate a partial pressure for each. If they're separate, the partial pressure and the total pressure will be the same. If they're mixed, the total pressure will be the sum of both pressures. But either way, we can calculate the pressure for helium and carbon dioxide. So first we'll do it for a real gas situation. So we'll assume they behave like, real, like ideal gases. We'll use the ideal gas expression. PV equals NRT. So solve for pressure, that's NRT over V. And we can see it's easy to plug in one mole of gas, 298K, and 15 liters. Now, for the ideal gas expression, it doesn't matter which gas. Both gases would be predicted to have the same pressure. The ideal gas law doesn't include the nature of the particle. So both gases would have a pressure of 1.63 atmospheres at 15 liters. And if you reduce that volume down to 150 milliliters, that's a reduction of a factor of 100, the pressure would go up by a factor of 100 to 163 atmospheres. So the ideal gas calculation is easy because we don't have to include which gas we're talking about. They both would be predicted to have the same pressures if they're behaving ideally. 